Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. More Fallout. Uh, we are back for more adventures in the wasteland. We just finished uh, securing the mini nuke repository, and now uh, I'm gonna get back to the the Prinwin, whatever that blimp is called. And there is a radioactive electrical storm, but I'm safe inside my power suit, so I don't even care. I'm just gonna scrounge around a little bit and see if there's any goodies. Are they gonna come pick me up, or am I expected to somehow get back to the Prinwin some other way? It would appear that I am expected to hoof it up into the sky. How nice of them, right? Okay, that's neat. How do you get off of this place? Can I just teleport to the Prinwin? Is that a thing I can do? Um, I guess I can just fast travel to the Prinwin. Alright, that certainly simplifies things. So the next big holiday coming up when I'm recording this, it might be passed by the time this goes live. I don't know how I'm gonna upload these videos or if they're gonna be in a timely fashion or not. Um, but Thanksgiving's coming up and years back, um, we held Thanksgiving at my place and my freaking cousin uh, was that actually not my place? That was, that was even earlier than that. Um, this was when I was still with my folks, and um, we were all with Thanksgiving, and my cousin came up, and I let him and his wife borrow my bed because she was super, super duper pregnant, and I kind of donated my bed so she wouldn't have to hurt her back getting up and down from an inflatable mattress. With the agreement that if they had let their kids sleep in the bed with them, that they had him in, like, uh, kids' training pants because he wasn't very old. Or that, uh... They had, like, a rubber sheet, and they said, oh, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, we've got it taken care of. Well, they didn't. And I don't know if you've ever been a tall person, but... It's really hard for me to find a really nice mattress that doesn't hurt my back when I sleep on it and I get a good night's rest. And her kid pissed in my bed, because they didn't tell him to go to the bathroom before going to sleep. And, um... Well, A, his wife is a bit of an asshole. So there's that. Um, kind of a ditzy asshole at that. But... Um... I woke up from my cot, and, uh, my father came in and he said to me, Look, I'm gonna clean it up for you, so don't get too freaked out. Um, but your cousin's kid pissed in your bed, so, just be aware of that. You don't need to go after her, though. Your mother has already made her cry. So that was the last time my cousin was invited to Thanksgiving. Because he just wanted to come here as, like, an intermediary so that his family could come down from, from North Dakota. Yeah, they're not invited back anymore. So there's that. Oh, yeah? Did you like that? It was a piece of cake. I'm glad you feel that way. Because it only gets more difficult from here. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Simply Ooh, what did you just give me? To your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're Ooh, aboard, cool, I get super backup grenades. That's awesome. Pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need Okay, cool. Um... I uh, thank you? I could use some caps. The best weapon for survival out here is a pocket full of caps. Signal grenades are usually reserved for our paladins. In your case, you should be great- No. LOL. <laughs> I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong is simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. But oh yeah? What's next, sir? Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths must be eliminated at all costs. I wonder who's in the Institute. Probably my wife's father from this from this character. My in-laws are that kind of an asshole. Alright, so... 
Uh, where do I start, I guess? I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? No, I think we're good. Hey, actually, what is, do you know anything about the Institute? Have you found any fancy records? Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility. The Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility... Oh, so it's like this game's version of MIT. Search them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago. So it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Um, suggestions? Any suggestions where I should look next? All I can suggest is that you keep your eyes and ears open, Knight. We have every available scribe working on a way into the Institute. It's only a matter of time before a method presents itself. Okay. Well, that was cryptic and annoying. So is that our mission now? Is that it? Is that all we got? Reunions. Discuss findings with Piper. Road to Freedom. What is this Freedom Trail? I found that a while ago. I want to go see what that is. Um, support the Brotherhood Recon Team. Collect technical documents for Proctor Quinland. I guess reunions are in order. I should probably go talk around and see if there's any other missions here with what's his tits before I go. Um, Dan's? Paladin Dan's? Alright, um... I'm sure we could probably achieve paladinhood in this game. When I get off duty, that Salisbury steak is mine. Are you talking to me? Do I know you? Freaking military weirdness. Pyrdwin quarters. Pridewin quarters. Wait. That's just general purpose quarters, so why do I need... Eh, whatever. I don't even care. I've already stolen from this place, so all this stuff is already mine. Um, so I guess we go up here. Um... Where would Dan's be? Down here in the mess hall? Probably. It's basically like the cantina on a ship like this. Oh, I should probably think about getting a new power battery for this thing, too. Joining our cause was the wisest decision of your life, brother. Uh, where's her face? Where's Janky Legs? And yeah, where is Janky Legs? Is she asleep right now? I guess she is. Unless you like getting radiation sickness, I'd stay away from ferals. What? Ferals? Is that that guy who's been an act ass to me? That's funny. All right. Um. The Brotherhood's got a lifetime supply of nuclear ordnance thanks to you. I expect you could use a resupply after a scrap like. This. Well, yes, I could. How did you know? Have anything unusual? I have some special mods I've been working on. Sort of a hobby I have to pass the time. Real high-powered stuff. Slap a few of them under your This guy totally reminds me of like a gambling bookie. Alright, um, barter. Got some choice weapon. Alright, what do we got? Um got some weird combat armor. Some extra armor for my power suit. Cryo cell? Oh, that's actually, I'm gonna go get the thing that that's for right now. Um, fusion core. Is this what I want? How much is this? This is, oh, that's stupid expensive. Screw that. I got enough power cells. Um, where is Janky Legs O'Hulahan? Is she just chilling out back here? There's not much in any of these lockers for me to steal. I could steal these parts, but I don't think anyone's ever not in this room. This feels like a military room that's always under- like, there's always someone on duty working on something. Uh, I could be wrong, but probably not. Would you guys shush? I don't want to say words to you. Alright, well let's get out of here. I'm gonna go get the dog back, and then I've got something cool I want to show you guys, so... How do I get out of here? I guess I run up here. 
Man, this is the weirdest pair of stairs. How do you get up and down here with equipment? Like, it doesn't look like there's a loading bay in this place anywhere. Yeah, there must be a hatch somewhere. Alternatively, Larry, this is a video game. Everything doesn't need to be accurately portrayed in a game from a company that everyone talks about the minor details. Okay. Um, let's see here. I need to go all the way back. Where am I? This is a massive place. Have you seen how big this place is? Look how... Look how far south it goes. Oh my god. What is this? Museum of Witchcraft. Well, either or, I need to go back to the truck stop. So that's where I'm going right now. And eventually I'm gonna have to try out one of those vertebrate grenades. Those seem super delicious. They're trusted only to paladins, you guys. Mmm. Good news, I basically am friends with all the paladins in the area. Something like that, anyway. Okay. I could do without these ridiculous loading screens. Holy shit. There we go. Perfect. And there's the dog. <laughs> I guess I'll add this to my collection. Um, I'll just leave this one in the foyer. Yeah, this will be a good place for it. Alright, so that's power armor number two. Uh, yeah. So where's the dog? Come here, puppy. Hey! Come on, you're coming with me, puppy. Yes, yes. I don't need an... an exposition every time you want to talk to that thing, okay? Oh, did I miss this cooking station before? Oh, what can I make? I can roast stuff. What can I roast? Oh, I can make some baked... stuff. I can make some... stag. And then I can make some mole rat chunks. And I can make some hound chops and some mutt chops. I'm gonna basically process all the stuff I've got in my inventory right now. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, hell yes. Wait, I hear gunfire. What is going on? Oh, they're shooting at the vertebrate. Yeah, the vertebrate's pissing people off. Should have figured. Alright, well, let's- you know what? One thing we didn't do last time I was around here was somewhere over here... Underneath of this gas station... ...is a cave where there's, like, mole rats or something? I don't know what the deal is there, but I can get rid of a couple of these things. So I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna get rid of all this junk. All these tires and stuff. Look at all this junk some people just left here when they all exploded. How thoughtless of them in the end of days. I'm gonna keep that chemistry station, but I don't need these broken vending machines. Or these broken cigarettes. Or this tire. Or what is that vertebrate doing? Just being crazy. Alright, whatever. I wonder if I can make the Brotherhood of Steel my enemies, because I'm kind of tempted once I get all the stuff I can from them. That seems like a very decent idea. Alright, um, where was that? So I don't know where that cave was. The note inside this place said there was a cave underneath this gas station. But... I don't know where I would find that. Not underneath the dumpster, certainly. Uh, pff, yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Lots of floor jacks here, too. Okay, um... So if I was a cave, where would my entrance be? Because I just had a reference to it in that note, but it didn't really specify. Oh, well, here it is. Okay, it's right around the corner. Alright, I guess I'll go in here and poke my head around. I'm sure there won't be things like mole rats in there, not at all. No, oh, more of those random glowing fungi. Alright, in we go then. Hello. 
I think it would be cool if the game partially preloaded stuff in the background for areas nearby. But I guess there's only so many things you could get preloaded at one time. There's a limit to technology's capabilities. Wow, that really exploded. Really exploded. There was a lot of mole rat down here. Also a lot of radiation down here. And brain fungi. That's good stuff. That's delicious nibbles is what that stuff is. Um, is this all that's down here? Just some... garbage, some Brahmin meat. Oh, and a fragmentation grenade and a cool pistol I would have loved to have before. Oh well. You win some, you lose some, right? Oh, there's some rads back here and a free fusion core. Crash Busters Award, what does this say? Mr. Benson, on behalf of Boston Regional Office, I would like to congratulate you and your team on winning the 2076 Trash Busters Award for the greatest year-to-year -year waste reduction by a single store. Respect for the environment is an integral- LOL. They threw all the radioactive crap down here, and they got an award for doing it. That's amazing. That's living the American dream, folks. It really is. Hey, this place goes deeper. Oh, shit. All right, hold on. Let's pop you in the back. And make you dead. There we go. Oh, a radiated mole rat bit. How do I do that mission where I take samples from animals? I don't have any samples to give that lady. Also, the ground just partially disappeared. Oh, well, whatever. I guess we can unlock this safe and get some bacon out of it. Um, how far do I have to push this thing? To the limit? Probably. Everything in this game has to be pushed to some kind of limit at some point. Oh, what is this? A revolver with a... Ugh, I'm carrying too much? Are you serious right now? Hold on, I gotta throw some shit out. Maybe that rocket launcher would be something good to throw away. Oh, I got a rapid-fire pistol. I'm gonna chuck this combat knife, that's for sure. Um... I also realize I shouldn't have deconstructed that other, um... pistol that I found, but... it's too late now. Um... there's that cool walking cane. I'm not gonna use the pulse mine, though. So there's that. Uh, wonder glue is always important to have. Well, that was... kinda anticlimactic. I'm not sure what I expected in here. Not really sure. I guess a cool boss, maybe? Like a mini ultra, like, beginning of the game boss? But I should have been in here a long time ago, so... Whatever. Okay, what's next on the agenda? Next, we have to go back to the vault. And inside the vault is a cool cryostasis gun, I think. I'm guessing because it's a cryostasis facility. It's either that or a rail gun. And, or Gauss, Gauss rifle? Um, I'm not familiar with that word. Goose rifle? Um, yeah, so that's in here. Um, let's get onto the platform. What did you find, puppy? What is it? What did you find? Is it dead people? Oh, is there stuff in here I forgot to take the last time I was in here? I guess there was. I still have too much shit. Um, well, what can I dump? I kind of want the rest of this stuff. Um... What's up with this cane? This cane seems cool, but it does increase amounts of damage as the night grows longer. And less damage during the day, that's hilarious. I guess this rifle's shit, I'll get rid of that one. Actually, that one has a lot of damage, actually. Um... There's a lot of grenades and stuff in here. What kind of apparel did I pick up? Assassin's metal leg. I have all this cool stuff. What can I dump? I don't know. Pork and beans, I'll just eat that. Um... Thistles? I guess I'll just eat all that stuff. Am I still slow? No, I'm not. 
How do I activate this? Oh, do I have to activate the button to get this to work? This is being really weird. Do the thing. Oh, there we go. Yay. Hopefully the dog comes with me or else this is going to be really awkward. If you go into the vault today, you're going to be in for a surprise. Alright, um... I wonder if I can get my dead wife out of storage now. Dead wife storage? Sounds like a Pulp Fiction reference, but it's not. I'm not gonna repeat the words from that. Um, you know, speaking of Pulp Fiction, I didn't really care for that movie. I got really bored watching it. Got super duper bored. So, first off, can I mess with my dead wife? Is that a thing I'm allowed to do? This stuff all seems melty. Can I open this? Up, oh, Nora looks to be dead. Oh, I guess I was supposed to do this before. Well, guess I'll do stuff to the corpse. Oh, she's bulletproof. Well, what do you know? Okay. Can I not open up any of these other ones? Hello? Anyone? Wow, this thing's just like totally scripted. It's not really intended for me to come back here, I guess. Well, that's lame. I didn't think I'd ever come back and explore here a second time and prepare a second set of dialogue. I'm not gonna finish that thought. It's just not worth the effort. So where was that secondary door? Here it is. So... Way back in here... In the Vorden's office... Yes, the Vorden's place. Next to all of these dresser drawers and the bed. Um, I don't think I missed anything the last time, but I'm gonna command the dog and go get go that, that case for me. Go get the gun. Go get the gun. Check it out. Can I not Take a look. go get that? Go do the thing. You're supposed to be able to just tell the dog to come in here and get this. Over there. Maybe I misunderstood oh, this. Well, hold on. I just got a level up. Maybe I can just pick the frickin' lock. Maybe they patched that. Um, locksmith. You can pick master locks now. What requirement do I need for this? Level 18, of course. I guess we're gonna wait off and do this next time, everybody. So toodles till then. Bye.